hypothesis testing. So what we are going to do is uh, we'll tell you in this recording that how do how do you test any particular hypothesis. So what do you do as a, as a first step is that you formulate two competing hypotheses. So you formulate two competing hypotheses. Okay. For example, that government spending has no effect on rate of interest and government, government spending has effect on rate of interest. So for example, government spending has no effect on rate of interest and government spending has effect on rate of interest. It has effect on rate of interest. So you form two competing hypotheses. So you pick up everything in advance. For example, you pick up everything in advance as far as your test statistic is, test statistic is concerned, the level of significance at which you test at which you want to test your hypothesis, even that you will pick in advance, everything you pick in advance. So you derive a test statistic. I'll give you an example. You derive a test statistic. You derive a test statistic. Okay, what exactly that mean? I'll just let you know. And you derive a decision rule. Fine. You derive a decision rule. Decision rule to choose any one to choose any one of these hypotheses any one of competing hypothesis okay so you have two hypotheses so for example in, in this particular example, you have the hypothesis of government spending has no effect on rate of interest and the other example is and the other hypothesis is that government spending has effect on rate of interest. So and you, you have to derive a test statistic and you have to derive a decision rule which will uh, which which will help you in choosing any one of these two hypotheses. OK, so well, you know this that when government spending increases, rate of interest increases. OK. Say for example, your uh, your hypothesis is that rate of interest R T or I T whatever is equal to beta one plus beta two G T minus one plus U T. So what does it mean? This this actually means that whatever the level of government spending in the last period, it will be affecting the rate of interest in this period. Okay. Now you are interested in the sign of this coefficient. You are interested particularly in this coefficient, whether this coefficient is zero or non-zero, whether this coefficient is zero or this coefficient is not equal to zero. Because in case of this coefficient is zero, then this means that government spending has no effect on rate of interest. And in case of this coefficient is not equal to zero, this would mean that government spending has effect on rate of interest okay so your your hypothesis is that you will you will make up this hypothesis that is h naught is basically beta 2 is equal to 0 this is your null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis is that say beta 2 is not equal to 0 now not equal to 0 could be beta 2 could be greater than 0 or beta 2 could be less than 0. So this means that this not equal to is basically two tailed test. Okay. If we would have formed the hypothesis that strictly beta 2 greater than 0, then in that case, this would have been one tailed test or beta 2 less than 0. That would have been one tailed test. Okay. Now, you're going to pick up the test statistic in advance and even the level of significance in advance. Okay. Say, say for, for, for two tailed test with the 5% level of significance, then that would mean this. For example, you'll just uh, 
have a look at this and uh, yeah so that looks fine and here you have your beta 2 equals to 0 beta 2 equals to 0 this is your beta 2 hat uh, and this is the distribution of this beta 2 hat fine well and since you are checking this say for example at alpha equals to 5% that is your level of significance at 5% this is the level of significance you, you want to test your hypothesis at 5% level of significance then then you are actually interested is that uh, is that this beta 2 hat is far enough away from zero okay so any observation which is lying 2.5 percent from the tails uh, this is this is your 2.5 percent from tails this much is say 2.5 percent this much is say 2.5 percent so in case of your beta 2 hat is going to lie anywhere in either this part or in this part so this would mean that you can safely reject your null hypothesis that beta 2 is equal to 0 okay so you can reject your null hypothesis in that case so you at times uh, uh, you you have to understand this thing that you at times even manipulate your data in order to get your level of significance so for example um, in case if you if you look at your data and you get you 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 get to the point that uh, this your 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 hypothesis could be safely rejected at seven percent level of significance, then you will form your level of significance as as ten percent. Okay, but ideally you should refrain yourself from doing that. Fine. So we'll take uh, this example only further in our discussion, and uh, and uh, before than that, uh, uh, I'll be I'll be actually telling you uh, how to go about. Uh, testing a two-tailed hypothesis.